He really is showing off. He thinks he's a stud over there. <laughs> so <laughs> that comes to well, how they breed. There's your exactly how they breed right there. So they get on a female like so, and that basically oh. goes. So you just saw. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. this one is definitely rated R for reptiles. Okay, what are you doing to the tortoises? <laughs> this is a male, by the way, guys. <laughs> Nothing, I promise. So now that you've seen that it's a male, you can go tell everybody about this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, you have a, if you haven't watched the last tortoise video, you need to watch the last tortoise video because it took do. me 20 minutes to clean that mess up. I don't know how long this one's going to take to clean up. He really is showing off. He thinks he's a stud over there. <laughs> so <laughs> that comes to well, how they breed. There's your exactly how they breed right there. So they get on a female like so, and that basically oh. goes. So you just saw. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. this one is definitely rated R for reptiles. <laughs> definitely rated R for reptiles. So where does this come from, Kate? This is a Greek tortoise, and they're actually located in North Africa and some parts of Europe, and also Asia as well. And this is almost as big as he's going to get as an adult, full grown, um, about between five to eight inches. And that's a boy. This is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and what do you have there, Jay? This is, actually, this is actually also a boy. I thought for sure it was a girl. Oh. Uh, this is a Russian tortoise. Now this Russian tortoise was obviously imported. Lots of people bring them in from, from Russia. When it came in, it was about this big and it was real dark because it grew real slow. But then it got in captivity started eating a lot and it grew all this brand new light shell and it looks all different. So I just wanted to show you kind of some of the characteristics of shell growth. Now here's another thing about this that's unique. You see the shell how it's, it, it actually didn't grow very good in between these scoots. So you can see that there's no separation because it was probably a 25 year old tortoise at this size. Oh, and then when it started growing, it started growing mostly just on the outside edges. Normally they're deformed when they grow like that, but this one grew just perfectly fine despite all that. Oh wow. And uh, I don't know, I don't know Kay. <laughs> this guy is like, I don't even think we can put him down. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> we find him a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh that is, I've never had one go that crazy. I mean like, <laughs> that's going crazy. I think I'm gonna go put them on Instagram. So here's something I never even knew. I didn't know the bottom side had this unique little footprint like that. So this is, this is actually pretty incredible video guys. This is, it's one thing for them to stick them out and it's another thing to locate exactly what they look like. And uh, this wasn't planned by any stretch of the imagination. We didn't play, you know, any, Barry Manilow or anything to make this happen. <laughs> it just took Kay holding them for one minute. But anyway, so that that is actually pretty unique. I didn't have any idea it was like that. You want to hold that for a minute? Mm -hmm. That is crazy. So what do you guys think about that? You got a comment when you think, oh, oh, oh. see that? He heard oh, it was gonna go. go. He didn't want to be Insta famous. Oh, maybe he does <laughs> want to be Insta famous. Maybe he just wants to get a, another run at it. Okay, guys, does anybody know what this is? I can't figure it out. Will you guys help me figure out what this is and comment below? Okay, you guys, so here's a couple cool tortoises. So this is called the Holmes Hingeback. They look like a leaf. They come, of course, they should look like a leaf. They come from real marshy area, Cameroons, uh, Ghana, all over Africa, quite a big, pretty big range. And they live right in the forest floor where it's real moist and uh, like in the Congo areas and stuff like that. And they're really pretty cool. Yeah. This guy's really shy. And the reason why they call him a hinge back is because literally the whole back of the tortoise is a big hinge and it closes itself up. Look at that, he, he can't even get to his legs. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Look at that. He looks like a nin, one of those Ninja Turtles, right? He's got his armor <laughs> on. Look at that, he's, he's so closed. It doesn't even look like, it looks like one piece right there. But yeah. that actually opens up about that far and then his legs drop out. But that's one of his defense mechanisms. But you can see its legs are protecting it in there. It's way in there, so it can't get anything in there. It's They're really neat. And uh, they're a little bit delicate. Not the best tortoise to, I wouldn't recommend buying one as a first time pet. They're kind of they they're kind of hard to acclimate 
This one's been in captivity. Like they, don't. they just don't acclimate great to captivity. Okay. This one's been in captivity for multiple, multiple years. Uh -huh. We had a, a woman here named Linda, and this is one she actually passed away, and we kept some of her tortoises. She loved tortoises, and this was her tortoise, and it's kind of, kind of special to us around here. Yeah. And Beautiful. this, this is a Burmese black tortoise. The reason why they're black is literally because they got to absorb all the heat. This is like the fourth largest tortoise or fifth. Mm -hmm. uh, the brown is bigger than the black. Uh, they come from Burma. You know, they come from the mountains and uh, they're really, really social. It's, I was actually told these tortoises are one of the only tortoises, one of the very few tortoises that protect their young. They stay by the oh. nest. They stay by the nest. They protect their babies. They have a motherly instinct and they could supposedly can call and get to their mothers. Now, I mean, their babies. I don't know about all that. I did read it on the internet. I'm just kidding. I was told by a pretty reliable source about all that incredible stuff because it's all new about them, and they're they're really pretty. They you know they look they're dark like a Galapagos and an Eldabra. Yeah. They get big. They get like a hundred. Uh, these get about 125 to 150. The okay. the Browns can get like a solid 150. I'm almost as big as a, 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 a Sulcata. Oh wow! And they're very very cool. Very social. Got a really cool disposition. So, what do you guys think? Cool or what? So, so cool. Look at them together. <laughs> Look so at that. Different. They got a spur on their thigh too. See that protection? Obviously, it's a common protection for them because there's big old spurs right there, just like an African spur thigh. Yeah. But different continent, different place, and really cool. Okay, guys, this is a really cool tortoise. It's a golden Greek, but I honestly think it's not just a golden Greek, it's a hypo golden Greek. But it's really exceptional, super light. Comment below if you know I'm full of baloney. Set me straight. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. You see there's no black pigment in the shell whatsoever. It's very golden, very, very golden. And it's beautiful. Uh, they come from Europe, all back there, along with those, you know, close to the, the other Greeks and the Russians and all that stuff. It's a beautiful tortoise. It's a beautiful captive born one you can see. The, the original scoots, the, the baby scoots right there in the middle, and uh, you can see that it still has the little bumps on it. So this tortoise is captive born, captive raised from birth, and that's one of the ways you can tell because they get rubbed smooth uh, when they're in the wild. And so this is a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. And what do we got here? I, we get, I actually dig these guys. Go ahead. I am. These are the red foot tortoises. And if you watched the other video, we actually talked about a yellow foot, so make sure you go watch it. This tortoise is from South America, and um, there's actually a dwarf version of this tortoise, and it's uh, it's called a cherry. Super cute name. Yep, cherry head. Yeah, and as adults, they get about the size, but slightly bigger. And uh, Jay, did I miss anything? You didn't. The no, cherry heads. Okay. You know, the funny part is, is this guy here has almost the same color as a cherry head. Okay. He's from an area that I don't even know, but one time I was at an importer and they had these babies and they had really bright heads and I thought they were maybe cherry heads, but yeah. they weren't because obviously a cherry head never gets this big, but the cherry heads have, sometimes their head is like that color, but twice as much red. Right. And it's, it's really, so really, cool. really cool. Look how cool. And uh, I forgot a lot of That's stuff awesome. about my yellowfoot tortoises. They come from the same general area and uh, they come from a real marsh area with a, uh, Lot, all you know really South America is nothing but tropical anyway, mm -hmm. but they they like a lot of water They eat a lot of fruit fallen fruit bananas different things like that, and they're really cool They're it's very so sociable cool. yeah. and they do really good in captivity Awesome. Thank you so much Jay oh, for fine. hanging out and showing us all your tortoises Everyone make sure if you're watching this video go below click the link and go to his channel and subscribe because he knows everything about animals You'll love all his videos Oh, but really, really, it'd be really stupid if you didn't go check out her channel. <laughs> if you're not Oops. watching us on her channel, you're watching <laughs> on my channel, you got to go check out her channel too because she's got cool stuff and when we're making videos, we always make them a little bit different to have a lot of fun. So you guys have two cool videos to watch and don't forget to check out our old, exactly. our old one, right? Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Take care, guys. Bye. Living the dream. Living the dream.